Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be playing some more Phase 8. So we're currently using the Kirovets K700 and we also have the Step 39331 Pike. And both of these you have to do a mission or a uh, task to unlock them. Let's see... And the third one I haven't found it yet. Um, I've searched all the maps. You know what, I'm just going to show you quick. So this is the Institute. This is what we've got so far. So I ran around and explored every... every possible inch, basically, of all the maps. Actually, I think I did miss a little chunk. Yeah, like right here. But basically, I got the whole thing explored. And I haven't found the vehicle anywhere. I've been looking around, you know, looking up close and far and I don't I don't see it. It might not be in the game yet. Um so anybody who bought it right when the right when phase eight was put on the PTS, they might still have it. But I'm not allowed to buy it in the store, which I'm gonna quick show you guys the other maps. So here is the Heartlands and same thing. So there's no, uh, at least I haven't found the vehicle. And here's Harvest Corp. So it could be on here and I just didn't see it. But like if you go to the, the tasks, there's only like three tasks on this one just three bridges that need to be built. The rest of them, you know, the game's not quite completed, so they're not on there yet. But I think, I'm pretty sure the the K700, or I mean the K7M, is not in the game yet. Unless you bought it right away. I don't think the task is there. I could be wrong. I checked through all of these, didn't see it. Um, but I guess I can show you guys another thing that I found. Let me go to fixing the fixers. Okay. So I'll show you guys quick this. This is the garage location when you get that unlocked. This is going to be, as far as missions go to unlock the garage, one of the worst ones you have to do. Um, maybe not the worst missions, but the most amount of missions. So you have to do down to the last screw and let there be light. And down to the last screw, you have to complete Risky Endeavor and Railway Blues. For Risky Endeavor, you have to do Lost Tech. And then here's Lost Tech. Then we need to find Railway Blues. Oops. So here's Railway Blues. And this needs fixing the elevator. Fixing the elevator needs missing workers. Here's missing workers. And then the other one was let there be light. And for let there be light, you need to do treasure hunt. And here's treasure hunt. So I think it's eight or maybe it was nine, I forget. But you have to do a ton of different tasks to get this unlocked. I'll be coming out with more videos, um, more sort of tutorials on this when the game actually comes out, but I'll have a few, like, before that, just, um, sort of explaining, like, how to unlock the other maps and stuff, which are pretty basic. Alright, so let's just do a little bit of, uh, gameplay here, so let's close this. Oops. Let's lift that up. So that's as high as it'll go. Yep. Go backwards here a little bit. And then let's see, can we... Oops. So I want to tilt down and then open it. There we go. Yeah, so I'll be showing you guys some more stuff, but I can't find that vehicle yet. I, don't, I just don't think it's in the game unless you bought it right away. Uh, 
Um, I do have all the upgrades. I got all the watchtowers. I'll show you another thing. I've only got three out of four found vehicles. And I'll show you where those are at in another video, but... There's a vehicle that doesn't count as found, but I can switch to it, so I'm pretty sure I found it all, but... I guess since I haven't found the K7M, I'm not exactly sure if that is a findable vehicle or exactly how that works. Let's see, it's got to go down a little bit more, close that in, oops, and lift up. There we go. But I've drove this, uh, I want to say the crocodile for some reason, but the uh, Step 39331 Pike. Um, oh shoot, I just dropped it. I've drove the pike around actually, I was going to say quite a bit, but that's a lie, um, a little bit. And it seems really awesome from the limited time that I drove it, but I didn't drive it too far off road really. I mean, it was in mud and stuff and it seems like it's really good. Um, let's see, open? No. There we go. But yeah, these maps, I would say they're the most open maps in the game. And that, that even includes like Michigan and stuff and the reason that they're more open than even Michigan is I mean yeah, as you can see that the trail I took in here um, so a lot of Michigan has like rocks like big mountains and stuff you can still sort of like maneuver up some of that stuff but a lot of it's pretty tough to like go wherever you want and then in some of the more open maps um, there's a lot of trees. I shouldn't say more open, more flat maps. There's a lot of trees. And... Ah, oh shoot, I keep doing that. And this one, you know, there's a lot of fields, because it's around farming. And so there's a lot of pretty flat areas, and there's not many trees. I mean, there is trees, but... You can pretty much weave your way through a lot of the trees. Uh, there are thick spots and, you know, there's a lot of water and stuff that you can't cross, but overall, it's, uh, oh shoot. You know, I might be able to just open it up and, uh, oh, well, can't open it. Huh. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it wouldn't open earlier. Oh, shoot. But, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of open spots that you can go to. And it's... There are some really, really big, uh, like, ditches. Or not even... I don't know if you'd call them ditches. But, like, you'll be driving along and there's one spot specifically on this map that's like... There's like a 10-foot drop. So if you're driving, it's, uh, yeah, you, I mean, you can, you can hit it, and if you're not straight on, you'll, you know, you'll probably flip, but if you go straight down it, you're, you're pretty much stuck, your front end's driving into it. Alright, 
let's see. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can do this one more time. Let's see, up, okay. There we go. All right, so that's going to be it for that. Um, let's pack this. There we go. And you actually can use the crane to pick these up. I just wanted to use that one for fun. Let me quick check where we're going here. Okay, we're going to go back to this road. Follow that along. And we're dropping it in this field here. Or across the field. There's quite a ditch here, actually. So I might go this way. And as you guys can see, I, I have some mods on that I'm messing around with. I don't normally play with them, but... Um, since this is just a PTS, I'm kind of just messing around with stuff that I normally don't. Because normally I don't have access to this, and, uh, yeah, normally I don't play around with mods. I like using the vanilla vehicles, but since this is not really, not really going to save, if that makes sense, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. It's, I'll play it, you know, when the game actually releases and beat it that way, um, with the normal trucks. So this is kind of just m more messing around, I guess. But yeah, this is the new, um, Step 39331, uh, Pike. Couldn't think of the name there for a second. And yeah, I know some of those, like, I really wanted to try out, I shouldn't say try out, well, kinda. The, uh, the new Wolfback trucks on here, but they're not in the PTS yet. It's been a week and they're still not here, so... I guess I, because that's actually what I was planning to do for this right here. I was going to use one of those trucks for driving these hay bales, but uh, you can't. So I decided I'll use the Pike instead, because that's a new truck as well. But yeah, up here, I mean, I guess we could do some off-roading, just to show you guys. I probably should have done some off-roading. It's a nice little trail. But yeah, this is the way I usually come, from the right there. It's kind of cool, you got some silos and stuff up here. But yeah, here's that ditch I was talking about. So, not not the really big one, but when I just, just said it a few seconds ago, that there's kind of a ditch going into this field. But yeah, this truck seems really good. I guess I'll keep driving it for you guys a little bit here. I'll, I'll take it off-road and show you. I'll just get this delivered. We're almost level 30 as well. I told you guys I've been working on that. So, oh, we need two different things of hay bales. So we got 100... So our driver level is 28 now. We're getting there. You know what? I guess I'll drive this out to the, the next area where we need to pick up hay bales. And you guys can just kind of see how the truck performs. Because I know where it is, I just didn't know it had to go to the same spot.
Whoop. Not watching where I'm going. And I don't... Yeah, I don't think you can pick up any hay bales because it has certain ones marked. I mean, I guess you could pick them up, but it wouldn't count for the mission. It's got to be certain ones for the mission, but you could pick up any of them if you wanted for fun. But this is what I was talking about, where there's... Like, you can drive through all this. You know, the trees are sparsely... I was going to say sparsely populated, maybe, but they're kind of spread out. But there's a lot of hills. Ah, did it again. This thing's also kind of a gas hog. I don't know if you guys noticed that when I was driving over here, but... Yeah, it does like 10 minimum on the highway. And then it's like 16 if you're off-roading. But we might, might run out of fuel by the time we get there anyways. No, I don't think so. But yeah, you have to bring two sets of logs over here for one of the tasks. That's why this log trailer is here. Normally I'd take it back and sell it, but again, since it's PTS, I'm just kind of, I don't know, didn't, didn't bother to bring it back. But just up here a ways, um, I'm going to drive more into the mud here. Just up here ways is the uh, the hay bales. They're up like straight in front of us, pretty much. This road kind of curves. Oh yeah, there's a vehicle. This is one of the vehicles, I guess, that you can uh, just drive up to, which is kind of weird because they haven't had them in a year. I looked back and it's been four seasons since they had a vehicle that you could just drive up and be yours without doing any kind of tasks. Oh, I thought I was gonna get around that hay bale, but. I hit the hay bale and the tree. Uh, you know what? That might be one of the hay bales I need. And it is. Alright. So yeah, there's one here, one here, two there, and two out there. But yeah, this thing is pretty pretty dang good. Um, I'm excited to be able to use this when the when the main game comes out because it seems like it's really really strong. It might just be that this this area is more easy to navigate, but I don't know. All right. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about the new update or new phase, new season, whatever you want to call it. Give you a little uh, preview of the vehicles, the new cargo, but that is where we're going to end it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.